everyone, it's Ashley here. Welcome to a new episode of the RSFA team. So today, as you can see from my background, I'm at a place that's really, really special. I'm here at Excise Wallaby Pro 019. Right now, I'm at the Optech building in Rockhampton Airport. This is where the RSF detachment is based for this year's X-Lice Wallaby and where our aircraft are situated before they fly into Showwater Bay for their daily training. I also heard that today I'll be able to try out something very exciting, so let's go find out what it is. So I have 3rd Sergeant Hamesh with me here, who's going to tell me more about the aircraft he works on, the Apache helicopter, as well as what he does as part of 120 Squadron. My role in 120 Squadron is being a flyline crew. So as a flight line crew, I'm a dedicated crew chief as well as a weapon loads crew. Being part of the exercise will be is a memorable experience. This is one of the few opportunities that we get to actually load missiles and rockets onto the Apache. I get to work with an elite helicopter, the Apache, as well as the pilots who fly it. Maybe you'd like to bring me around the aircraft and show me uh, what you do on a daily basis? Yes, definitely. For our aircraft servicing, we have 14 main areas to ensure that the aircraft is fit for flight. I see. This is where we found the hydraulic accumulator. So we remove the two latches, okay. open the panel, and we use this to keep the panel up. We use this rod, and we put it here. We can pull this out. And then push it back up. This will increase the pressure of the accumulator. Okay, mm. got it. This is the horizontal stabilizer of the aircraft. So over here, we can check the tail rotor, as well as check the antenna. When we climb the aircraft, we have to maintain a three-point contact. This is to ensure that we do not fall off the aircraft. This is the nose gear box. Hotel lowering. So we also ensure that the tets is secured to the aircraft. Mm -hmm. Lastly, for the gun, we ensure that the power cable is disconnected. So we unlock the gun, and then we push the gun down, and then push it back up, and then we make sure it's locked. Wait, can you do that again? <laughs> so now that I've taught you how to do the servicing, I would like you to show me whether you remember how to do it. So, safety first, gloves and goggles. I hope I remember everything. So, first, you check the avionics bay. Right. Next, shit, I've already forgotten. <laughs> you check the fire extinguisher. Yes. Fly away kit. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And the tyre. I feel like I've forgotten something, but I cannot remember. What. But never mind, it's okay. Oh, wait. You look at this. Yes. You check this. The F avionics bay. <laughs> Hydraulic. Uh, the, are the middle one. Yeah, just ah, push up. Okay. Even opening is tough. And then you pull this out. Yeah. Okay, so I pump it by pulling it down. Pulling down. Oh my god! Let's take it that we've checked it already. Check this. Next, you climb up. This yeah, we climb out the vertical step to check to the check. tail rotor. We are halfway through. Now I have forgotten where is the next bit. Ah, yes. So you check the engine by yes. climbing up. Three point contact. Yes. Can we hold that. Yeah. Here. Yes. Right? And you also open this up to yes. check the engine. First, then right. left foot down, then right foot. Okay, yeah. How do you do that so easily? And oh, wait, this. Yes. This, right? Right. So, uh, what do you check for? We check the structure over here. Last one! The gun. The gun. So for this last bit, we check if the gun can move up and down, right? Okay. You unlock it here. You pull the gun down. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, it's still heavy. Okay. Alright. Are we done? Yes, we are done. Ah, finally. So yeah, we have made it to the end of the before flight checks of the Apache helicopter. How much how do you think I did? Not bad for your first try. Okay. Well, for me, 
it was really super tiring to go around and check everything that they do so especially the hydraulic pump I could not even move it even though I used both arms it's very mind-blowing that uh, there's so much to check considering that I understand that the pilots actually do a pre-flight check as well before they take off right so many rounds of checks just to make sure that the AH launches and recovers safely yeah good job to you and your team thank you very and much I'm really very very impressed by all that you are doing this concludes this episode of the RSAF A team so don't forget to keep a look out for more exciting videos and also if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel please do so okay, we'll see you next time bye